Hey, welcome back to the Car Doctor channel. I'm Tim and I appreciate you stopping by the shop. So today I got a tip for GM vehicles. Should cover about 03 through 09. Chevrolet Silverados, Suburbans, Tahoes, GMC Yukons, uh, Cadillac Escalade, Envoys, Chevy Trailblazers, blah, 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 blah. HVAC blower motor stuck on all the time, even when you shut off the key. And that's not good, because your battery goes dead, and we don't want that. Well, anyway, it's a common problem. There is a technical service bulletin regarding the uh, blower control module. This is an uh, auto HVAC system on this one. And uh, the, basically the outline of the TSB involves uh, checking the blower control module. If it's not the updated module, then it needs to be replaced. So once again, uh, you know, you turn, the, you turn the key off, you go to walk away, your blower motor's still running, you're like, what the pick? And uh, that's the deal there. Uh, so basically, uh, it's a pretty straightforward repair. There's a replacement module kit available. The module itself, a wiring harness, and uh, some instructions and some hardware for installing it. And we're going to show you how to do that. Thanks again for stopping by. So if you get the old module out and you see that it's the old style module, then um, you're due for an update. So that was okay. Kit, um, which on this application I'm working with a, an 05 Tahoe here um, here's the updated kit number and the kit includes a harness a new module which is different slightly different and some hardware like I was saying and then it'll give you an instruction sheet on how to wire that in um, and then you won't have to worry about it being stuck on all the time and draining your battery dead. So I'll go ahead and show you a quick process for uh, removing that. It basically requires accessing the uh, passenger side up under the glove box area. There's a small panel where you need to remove three screws. Uh, three screws if it's never been removed before. If it's been removed before, there's probably only two screws because the third one is so hard to get to up towards the center console of the vehicle um, but anyway I'll show you how to do that and then access the blower module for testing and replacement. The blower motor and the blower control module are located underneath the black cover under the glove box area of the vehicle. You need to remove the three screws in the black cover remove the black cover to access the blower control module. There's three screws that attach the plastic shield to the underside of the HVAC case. Once you remove the attaching screws for the module from the heater case, remove the electrical connectors from the module itself and the blower motor, and then remove the module. Now cut the wires at the module. leaving plenty of room to splice in the new connector. Now strip back the wires and using suitable butt connectors, connect the replacement harness to the existing harness of the vehicle. Now tape the wiring harness Now install the replacement module
connect and route the wiring harness and connect the blower motor. Now reinstall the plastic shield. All right, well that, so that one screw <laughs> on reinstalling the, the cover plate underneath the one screw that's closest to the center console is just a pain in the butt. I take and glue it into, with some super weather strip adhesive to a 930 seconds deep quarter inch socket and I use my flex head ratchet and I take the socket off and get it up through the hole the little recessed hole in the cover and and then I I look down inside from up top and then get it up in the, the HVAC case where it belongs and then tighten it down it it only takes about an hour to put one stupid screw in and I mean, I've fought a lot of these and I haven't got any better at it. Maybe somebody's got a good tip for doing it. And if you do that, uh, please put it down in the comment section here if you got some positive feedback for us. I'd love to be able to do these quicker. You know, if it was my own personal vehicle, I would take that, that inner screw and throw it in the garbage. But this is a customer's car and I need to do it right. Uh, there's a possibility it could vibrate a little bit if we don't have that that screw in the cover so I got that in there and this one's good to go it's working good now successful repair and uh, I do appreciate you stopping by the shop I wish you good luck with your repairs please subscribe to our channel for more tips like this one and uh, you have yourself a good one all right take care so basically there is a couple things to watch for definitely 99.9% .9 percent of the pro time the problem is related to a faulty blower control module. However, a couple things to look for. When the module's removed, make sure you don't have any signs of water leakage into the module area, which could indicate a leakage at the, the window. And if the window itself is leaking water and, and it, that's getting down onto the module, that's going to be a problem. You also want to look at your wiring. If the existing wiring is melted in any way, uh, leading to the module or blower motor, then that could indicate a high amperage draw issue, and you're going to want to address that. It's more than likely going to be related to the blower motor itself, uh, which we won't cover in this uh, tip but the motor itself is accessible right next to the module and it's a real quick fix. Uh, definitely recommend replacing the motor if there's any type of signs of uh, excessive amperage draw uh, and uh, along with the module and harness at that time. That way you'll, uh, you won't be wasting your time and having to go back in after a, a bad motor fries your, your new module. Uh, of course, there is always the outside chance that there could be a short in the control side from the HVAC control panel, but I have yet to experience that. It, that would be so rare um, if the symptom is the motor stuck on after the key is off um, and your control, your, your control panel, the HVAC control panel goes out when the key is off. I just don't think it's possible that the uh, control panel is at fault. We never see that, so, uh, you know, basically if you pull the old module out and uh, you see that it's, whoa, uh, get that.